Hello, Virgo. How are you? Welcome to Told Us Love. It's been a few days, more than a few days. You're my first reading. So gear up, Virgo. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you're returning, yep, I'm still shifting around things and have been staring at this little corner near the window where I'm creating like my curtains and jeweled curtain. <laughs> and I've been staring at it thinking like, gosh, that's a perfect little corner for a reading. And um, for whatever reason, I was thinking like, it's also like symbolic or like, maybe there's a col maybe there's someone out there since this is virgo we'll s i'll just say virgo like cleaning out little areas of their home and making space in their home um if it resonates as always virgo because i don't have any virgo in my chart i really appreciate your feedback um if the music is loud i'm sorry it's because i'm trying to drown out the um traffic uh, I hope it's not too disruptive, but it's my jam and it's my flow. If this doesn't resonate, Virgo, you want to check out the other signs in your chart. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading or if you just want to let me know via email what you thought of the reading, you can email me at tarot at gmail.com. And with that, Virgo, I hope you're happy, healthy, and well, and you're having an awesome Aries season. And let's get it going. <laughs> I've been in a Virgo mode, sticking, like staying home and alone. Turning within. Okay, let's see. I think I love you. I care a lot about you, but I'm not in love with you. Bad communication skills. Caring and a warm heart. Multiple partners. You're so similar, that's why this is happening. I get the feeling I'm it's like two people here your love and belief in me has been healing to my heart um there's like two people here who um it's like you both enjoy the energy and attention of being single you both enjoy um like someone enjoys um Gosh, this is gonna sound really weird, but it's like someone goes out of their way to have bad communication skills to be able to uh, keep people at bay and not um, become like, it's like teetering on the edge of something happening, but instead of saying like, we are about we are teetering on the edge of crossing a line here someone acts like um they have no idea what's going on or like it's uh there's an attraction here i feel like between two people but it's not being communicated about like what's happening it's just happening and it i feel like i'm there's two people who like aren't um like aren't willing to admit what's actually happening and that's that they're both very similar but they both in like the enjoying the tango dance that they're doing without 
labeling it like we are like doing the tango right now someone's like no we're not we're just moving our bodies like that's they're avoiding communicating and that's like a tactic like they know what they know what's going on they know what they're doing they're just avoiding having to say it virgo that's what i get interesting <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, that's water energy. Doesn't have to be a water sign, though. And then we have the High Priestess, which is a water sign. Pisces energy, so you could be dealing with the Pisces. <clears throat> Virgo. I feel like these are the two people who know damn well what's going on, but nobody's saying what's happening. It's like, I'm, I'm picturing like two people backing up towards each other, knowing that they're, they're like walking towards each other, but they're walking in a backwards direction towards each other. And nobody wants to talk about how these two people are getting closer and closer and closer and it's like, no, we're not going to talk about what's happening because it's like that would mean it's real. But if someone communicated what they were really thinking or, or feeling, it would like ruin a dynamic. Gosh, this could go back to like walking a fine line of and not wanting to talk about the fine line that's being walked like we are on the cusp of doing something that could be harmful or hurtful to other people but not talking about it. There are emotions here, like a cr like a crush, a crush that has evolved. Like I, I care. I care, but I'm not in love. Someone may have a very hard way of showing how they love another person, or like that Knight of Cups with his exterior shell. With this high priestess, he does not wear his heart on his sleeve. He does have a heart that he keeps protected, but this per someone does not like to share their feelings or talk about their feelings or maybe even allow themselves to fall in love. They like get to a point where like they stop that. Maybe it's for fear of heartbreak because they've been heartbroken in the past, but it's like someone would rather have multiple partners and care, and have care for someone but not love them or at want like someone doesn't want to be loved the magician that's gemini aries energy ace of cups reversed here's that magician and two of swords reversed Gosh, I keep hearing like like not talking about it. Like stop, don't tell me about it. Like I'm hearing like Gwen Stefani, don't speak. Don't speak. I know just what you're feeling. There it could be a split going on or a separation, Virgo, with you and um, it doesn't even have to be a, a, a partner. It could be a family member or someone you are really, really close to. But I feel like, Virgo, either you or someone else is having to watch you kind of go off and um, live their best life and there's like nothing you can do about it. You have emotions and feelings about the situation, but you are keeping yourself tight-lipped and you are turning your back to um, 
I'm hearing secrets, like anybody or anything that had been secretive and brought guilt, you are no longer involved with or who you're dealing with. Someone wants to put an end to something that they've uh, let go too far. It's like they don't know um, how to stop something. They want to stop it. They're praying that it ends, but they don't know how to stop it. Because I think there's feelings involved. Like, I'm not in love, but I have a care. This could be a friend thing, because I'm looking at friends on TV or... Um, something, uh, same sex, friendship, relationship. I feel like someone is owed an apology and the other person is, um, stubbornly, adamantly not apologizing. Like over their dead body will they apologize, which is sad. Ace of Cups reversed again. This is someone like not, like I'm not going to apologize, but they like heavily need to. Or this is two people I'm thinking now who, who do have feelings and they are keeping it dead fucking secret. Dead secret. Like nobody can know that I actually care this much and feel this deeply. Someone is trying to squash their emotions. They don't want to feel what they're feeling. The Empress reversed the High Priestess again! Virgo, this could be your significant other. It could be your parent. You care or someone cares for you way more than they want to let on. They do not want you to know that they wished they had your babies or that you had had their babies. That that they see something in you that they wished they had in others and... I feel a strong sexual attraction here that someone really is trying to put the like, trying to squash. Like if the Ace of Wands reversed came out, I'd be like, someone is really trying to control their like, their emotions and I'm hearing like cool, cool our jets. Like maybe someone was like talking a lot. I'm also getting like, driving by your like where you live secretly or just driving around where you'd be secretly to try to see if they could see you virgo or you see them the chariot that's pisces and uh that's cancer energy there's a lot of water energy here pisces energy water uh the cancer card the ace of cups the ace of cups like there are emotions here i just think someone does not want to talk about how fast and how far their feelings have gone or they don't want to talk about or reveal how fast and far they've actually gone with someone or something Someone is out here, like, making plans and going to see someone on the low. I don't even see anything sexual. I just see talking and hanging out with someone and not telling anybody or lying about it. The Justice, that's Libra Reverse with this Gemini Aries card. This is someone who, um is not being honest about their intentions or not being honest about what they're doing or what they're trying to do. Like someone could be saying like, wow, this is kind of freaking weird. 
but this is what did I say? Ace of Wands reverse. If I saw Ace of Wands followed by the Knight of Wands reverse, someone is heavily sexually attracted to the other and they are doing everything in their power to keep it in their pants. They do not want it to get to that level, but there has been sexting and it has been everything but it. Didn't I say, wasn't that was two people who are walking a fine line who don't want to talk about what they what like they're on the cusp of doing or what is happening it's like let's just not talk about let's not talk about what's actually happening here or someone lying about what's going on cuz that justice reverse with that that um magician i see someone like this is kind of sick but this is what came to my head i saw someone saying like I'm going to volunteer for the PTO or I'm going to start volunteering and being a soccer coach for the kids. And you're like, oh, okay. That's what they were saying their intentions are, but that's not true. Their real intentions is to be able to be there around someone else or to like see someone else, to be able to communicate with them who they knew they would see at that place. But they're using like a shitty, shady, um, yeah, I'm seeing the moon reverse. They're using some sort of, uh, God, my leg's going to sleep. Shady, um, I'm hearing like emotionally manipulative tactic. So if it's emotionally manipulative, it could be, yeah, I mean, play, I'm making a play on the kids, like using the kids is one thing, but... It could be even something like, I'm going to visit my grandmother in the nursing home and it's because you know the the people that work there, the nurse, like you used to know her. Something, something like that. Like you're using, the excuse that's being used is not what's really, what it's really being used for. The devil reverse and the queen of pentacles. Someone is addicted and so sexually um, attracted, like sexually attracted. <sighs> That's Capricorn energy, even with the Queen of Pentacles. King of Cups, it's more Pisces energy. I feel like there is a masculine here who's really, tr really pushing the envelope, pushing the table, and it's the feminine who's been good at keeping it where it's at, but there's a fine line being walked here. It's being teetered, teetered between appropriate and inappropriate. Eight of Pentacles reverse. That's the second time I've seen that. This could be someone that you met at work or someone you work closely with or you used to work with and you no longer work with them. But this has been building and going on for a long time. This has been building up for a long time and it hasn't happened, but someone's like been waiting it's almost like someone knew something was bound to happen because it had been building up for so long. I'm hearing like there's only so many times you can say like, yeah, someday, yeah, someday when that someday is going to come and someone's going to be like, it's today. <laughs> yup. What we've been waiting for is happening today, right now. There's a lot of sexual energy here. I've, I'm getting like someone could have been a tease or is a tease and is, has been implying like someday something would happen between the two and like someone here needs to like check themselves with that flirting because the day is going to come when someone, the other person that's been led on and led on and led on is going to be like,
someone here has totally, I'm hearing like totally fucked up because they like, they had or made someone or have someone who's in love with them that has feelings for them. And that's part of the big problem here. This masculine not only wants the femi feminine physically, he cares a lot about her. And he thinks about her. And he thinks about what life would be like if he was with her. Wow. I mean, it could be the feminine thinking about the masculine, but I do heavily feel like there is a feminine here who used her feminine power as well as her attraction to this masculine. She has a masculine wrapped around her finger and she has had for some time. She has been the person who's noted, who has identified the line in the sand and has been the one to make sure that it is not crossed, but it is allowed to be teetered on by both parties. As long as it's not spoken about. Remember what I said? I think we're tangoing. No, this isn't a tango. This is just two people with their bodies making moves to music. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, smells like a duck, seems like a duck, quacks like a duck, you gotta use your senses, your brain and everything and understand that it's a motherfucking duck, okay? Someone here needs to like, look at another person and be like, they're acting like this, they're doing this, we're doing that, we're talking like this, but they keep saying that this isn't what it seems. That's gaslighting, even as I say it aloud. If it, you're looking at a duck and you're listening to a duck and you're like, oh my God, it's such a fucking cute duck. And someone goes, that's not a duck. That is just a bird with feathers. It's like, yeah, but it's really a duck. And by you just trying to make me feel like I'm dumb or don't understand what a duck is, and make it sound like it's just a bird. I hope someone's like understanding where an analogy could come with this. Like the fine line between a duck and a bird. The fine line between an emotional affair and having a very good friend. If it looks like an emotional affair. If it talks like it's an emotional affair. If your gut tells you, this seems like two people who have emotions for each other having an affair. It's probably an emotional affair and not just, oh, it's just my good friend. Follow your instincts, Virgo. I think there's an, a Virgo out there that needs to be told that because I think someone here is heavy in their feelings and either it's you, Virgo, or who you're with that is like wrapped up in something that they can't get out of because emotions have gotten involved. Virgo, if it resonates, please let me know. Um, if it doesn't, check out the other signs in your chart. As always, stay happy, healthy, and well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.